Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we have a chance to check fresh release from ICM. So it's a KDAA1 or Q2A Fire B with trailer and it's molded in 148 scale. It's a completely new tool release and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So we are going to open it together and check what is supplied inside. This is quite unusual looking aircraft. So that's why it is. it might be a good opportunity to build it in 148 scale and maybe that's why I decided to check it together with you. So first of all box carries this nice box art here. Note that kit number is 48400. Here is comparison with my hand. It's a typical ICM box size. Here on the side we have some information about the kit. So there should be 29 parts for assembly of one model which is surprisingly small number and it will be interesting to see what is actually copied with these parts. On the opposite side you will find three marking options for this aircraft but obviously you are not limited by them you can replicate something different if you prefer and still these three marking options are also nice so I think there are viable options to copy with your model. As for the box recently ICM started to seal everything with a sticky tape so keep it in mind you won't be able to check the contents in the shop for example so it's the only thing is to cut through this tape and open the box obviously seller won't allow you to do this because it will be already opened kit and that's why it might be a good idea to ask your seller to pack everything carefully at least in order to avoid any accidental damage during shipment. Okay now I'm cutting all this tape ends and we will check everything together. So as for the box structure it is typical for ICM I'm going to show it in a second so we have a top lid which is color printed and thin as you can see does not provide any protection at all and here we have a sturdy white cardboard box which is actually preserving parts intact and once I open it here inside you can see all the parts so everything is fit on one plastic sprue surprisingly and of course this sprue is packed into a receivable plastic bag so I'm going to open it right now oh so there are two frames sorry one small was hidden beside and we will check everything in a second. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us with a small donation. There is a special link in the video description below and we also have a support button on our website. So if you would like to help us to get some new kit, maybe to get some new equipment in order to improve the quality, just uh, press this button or click the link and you'll be able to do this via PayPal branch. Okay, so here we have um, first plastic sprue it's the smallest one and obviously this one is dedicated to the cart which will be holding aircraft in place now I would say that molding quality looks fine and I don't see anything unusual here note that wheels are pre-molded here so you have to be careful while painting them it might require some fine brush but other than that there is nothing to comment on this of course we have some guiding elements here so it will be easier to assemble everything together but it looks okay so we are all interested in aircraft itself so that's why we are moving to bigger plastic frame first of all let's take a look at the whole frame so here you can see that we have fuselage house wings and all other elements which will be used for the assembly obviously there is no cockpit for this aircraft and that's why it is so low on the parts count i mean everything can be fit on one sprue as you can see so now we can zoom in and check one of the corners so first of all you can notice that external features they include the recess panel lines which are not that deep so be careful while working with them it will be easy to lose them under several layers of paint and primer the same applies to the swing parts even though here i think there are a bit more deep in comparison with what we see on the fuselage half by the way here is another fuselage half note also this special attachment um, or installation slots on the side of the fuselage so they will be used in order to install the tail wings and the wings as you can see there are special tabs which will be inserted inside and if we flip it over 
So inside we have guiding elements. I was worried that there will be no guiding or alignment uh, things for this kit, but as you can see, they are supplied in all necessary parts, which are divided into two halves. So you don't have to be worried that there will be a tricky process of combining, for example, these two large uh, FizzyWatch halves together. But still, it might be a good idea to think how to properly attach them together in order to avoid any uh, gaps between these two halves. And of course, here the main attention will be focused on this fuselage section. There is no canopy, there is no cockpit, so that's why fuselage itself is the main thing which will be attracting your eyes and maybe the air intake for the engine. Okay. So that's the second and the last grey plastic sprue. Next we also have this small brochure that they will replace all the broken sprues. So feel free to contact them if you would like to fix some broken sprues in your kit. Next in the assembly manual we have a decal sheet. So obviously you will need it in order to replicate some of the marking options. For example this shark mouth which was on the box art. It can be it is easier to copy it with help of decals. So here you can see these decals. They are printed in a very nice quality, so there is nothing to complain about. And application is usually uh, also quite easy and quick with decals from ICM, so I have nothing to worry about. We also have some minor stencils here, and I think that's okay. And next we continue with this. So this is assembly manual. Let's close the camera a bit, zoom out. Okay, it should be enough. So it's a cover printed brochure and you can see that we have a short history note in Russian and English. We also have some technical specifications. And next we continue with the colors chart and some safety devices address of the manufacturer on the bottom. Next is the parts map here. So note that there are two parts which won't be used surprisingly. I, frankly speaking, I was thinking that all parts will be employed for this build, but you can notice that two parts will be left aside, so uh, really surprising. Everything starts with an engine and its air intake, so be ready to work on this two small tubes which will be installed in the aircraft obviously. Next we continue by installing various panels in the fuselage halves. As you can see this sub-assembly of the engine gets installed into one of the fuselage halves and then we join both halves together. Next we continue by assembling wings. So each wing will be glued out of two halves and then it gets installed onto the fuselage. And this is a really interesting design frankly speaking. So what is next? Next we continue with the lower fuselage panel which is molded as a single piece part so at least here you are literally covered with a separate piece which will hide some of the gaps between halves. Next we continue with few tanks which will be placed on both ends and of course tail fin. Next we start assembling the special cart which will be holding this aircraft in place and it's a really handy thing for a display of your finished model because otherwise it won't be standing, it does not have any landing gear obviously. And here we continue with marking options, so there are three of them and one is from 1951, another one is from 1960 and one more is a prototype from 1950s with this shark mouth. So now just give me a moment. So. It's quite interesting that this was a jet drone which was developed in 1948. Frankly speaking, I was thinking that they developed it a bit later. And this Fire Bee could be launched uh, by a carrier aircraft, so A26 Invader, or from ground from single missile. This is really interesting. Jet assisted takeoff missile was used in order to take it into the air but mentioning the A26 gives me some ideas because I see him produced 148 scale A26 so who knows maybe you can combine them together or maybe we will see a combo box from manufacturer itself so let's wait and see this year and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release whether you would like to build such model or maybe you would want, uh, want to build a combo with A26 feel free to write here in the comment section below. 
If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us greatly. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.